The famous Tackaberry skate is no longer made. But it wasn't long ago that getting a pair of tacks used to be a great Canadian hockey moment growing up. Born in Dresden, Ontario, George Edwin Tackaberry had apprenticed as a shoemaker in Brandon, Manitoba. Manitobans were early hockey innovators and in 1905 a backyard chat between Tackaberry and his neighbor, future Hockey Hall of Famer Joe Hall, would revolutionize the hockey skate industry. The notorious bad Joe Hall had just finished a season with the Brandon entry in the Manitoba Professional Hockey League. He complained to Tackaberry that he couldn't find skates that could last the whole season. Tackaberry measured Hall's feet and then after some testing designed a skate using kangaroo hide, which was both resistant to moisture and flexible but wouldn't stretch. The new boot was two inches lower at the top with a snug heel and toe and reinforced arches. The skate boot was then coupled with another Manitoba hockey innovation, the McCullough Two Blades. Hall was delighted, and that winter took his new skates and joined the Portage Lakes team in the International Professional Hockey League. It wasn't long before the skates quickly caught attention throughout the league. Almost overnight, Tackaberry was swamped with orders and soon turning out skates in batches of 30 to 50 as tack skates quickly became the most popular in hockey. It would soon be a common sight to see the biggest stars in hockey disembarking from the train to visit the Tackaberry shop on 9th Street in Brandon to get fitted for a pair of tacks. George Tackaberry died in 1937 and the family sold the tack brand and style to CCM. Their new ProLite blade was added and tacks would remain the preferred choice for the game's top players for another 40 years. The Manitoba Hockey Hall of Fame is proud to induct George Tackaberry.